GTA 6 trailer finally revealed. In the last few hours, the trailer for GTA 6 was released. A game that will change the history of entertainment again, one that begins to blur the line between reality and video games. The trailer shows us a quick glimpse of what the game will be like. We see the city streets, full of people and cars, which makes the game look very real. It also shows us the main characters, who seem to have interesting stories. What happens when two criminals get together for love, but are hunted by the government for their multiple robberies in Vice City? In this video we'll be talking about this trailer, and everything we could expect in the next installment of this story. And for more videos of your favorite game stories, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The first thing we should mention is that this trailer was supposed to be released tomorrow, but thanks to several leaks the release had to be brought forward. First, a teenage hacker managed to access confidential studio data and published it on the internet. Then, the son of one of Rockstar's employees revealed to the public several details about the content and story of the new game. These leaks put the company in a complicated situation and forced them to bring forward the release of the anticipated trailer ahead of schedule. But let's get straight to the trailer. What's in it? The GTA 6 trailer starts by showing us Vice City, a city we already know from the GTA universe. At the beginning, we see several scenes in a prison where our protagonist, Lucia, is located. She is a Latina woman, a criminal specializing in robberies. In the trailer, we also see the co-protagonist, who seems to be related to Lucia in some important way. The story looks like it will start with Lucia in jail, and there are hints that part of the game could involve her escape from prison. This could be an exciting part of the game, where you may have to plan and execute a complicated escape. Vice City is inspired by a city in the U.S. state of Florida, and that shows in the landscapes and locations, which bear a strong resemblance to the city of Miami. During the trailer, we see different types of animals and natural landscapes, typical of Florida, such as lakes and swamps. This adds a very realistic touch to the game. Another interesting detail in the trailer is how people are shown on the beach, and others having fun in the city. What really stands out is the realism of the NPCs, the non-playable characters, and the quality of the graphics. The characters look very real, both in their appearance and their behavior. It's a level of realism that we haven't seen before in GTA games, and I think it's going to mark a before and after in video games. We see different scenes of groups on the streets, confronting the police, and different scenes that show us this world in depth. The interesting thing about GTA 6 is that, unlike previous games, the story would be set in a modern version of Vice City. This means that instead of going back to the 80s, as in Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, this time we would see what the city would be like in the present. The choice of a modern setting for Vice City is exciting, because it will allow us to see how this iconic place in the GTA world has evolved. While in the 2002 game, we experienced the city in a bygone era, with all the culture and aesthetics of the 80s, in GTA 6, we could explore a more contemporary and recognizable version of the same place. This already gives us a clue as to which characters might make cameo appearances in this story. One of the most likely to appear is the witty Tommy Versetti, the protagonist of Vice City. For many fans, seeing mob boss Tommy back in a modern version of Vice City would be a dream come true. Other memorable characters that could return include neurotic lawyer Ken Mr. White Rosenberg, as well as drug dealers Lance Vance and Colombian drug lord Juan Garcia Cortez, Tommy's mentor. Corrupt real estate developer Avery the Number 9 Carrington may even make an appearance. More minor characters such as con man Kent the Englishman Paul, socialite Mercedes Cortez, and retired military man Colonel Cortez would also have the potential to appear. As for the story, there are two important characters we can control. A man named Jason, and for the first time in a Rockstar game, a woman named Lucia. It's exciting, because we've never been able to play as a woman in these games before. Now the interesting thing is that Jason and Lucia could be like Bonnie and Clyde. Do you know who they are? They were a couple famous for robbing banks in the 1930s. They weren't afraid to be violent, and they became legends. 
In GTA 6, Jason and Lucia could be doing similar things, like planning big robberies and facing dangerous situations. The good thing about this game is that you can switch between Jason and Lucia whenever you want. So you see the story from two different perspectives. This was already done in GTA 5, and it was a lot of fun. Some say that there could be more characters to play, but it seems that the most important ones will be Jason and Lucia. It is also likely to carry this two-character story, because it will be the first GTA co-op, where you can use two players online. Now there are rumors suggesting that Rockstar Games is developing a new system for non-playable characters, or NPCs, in its games, using a technology similar to ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence. This would mean that players would be able to talk, negotiate, and even confront these characters more realistically in the game. With this technology, the characters in the game could respond and act in a more natural and varied way, which would make the game feel more like real life, and missions would change depending on how you talk and act with these characters. We can see that the trailer has different NPCs with their respective lives, which could mean that the NPCs are much smarter than the ones we saw in other installments. But I think the most interesting aspect of this trailer is the possibility of a multiplayer that is almost indistinguishable from real life, since in recent years, this video game has excelled in the aspect of roleplay and interactions of people in this world. I think this game could create the basis for a simulated reality in video games. But we will talk about this later in this channel. For the moment, although it was only a minute of trailer, I think it was a very good one. And that gives us an explanation of why they have taken so long in its development, because it is one of the games where they have taken care of all the details to the maximum. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Will this game change the history of video games again? Do you want to play it already? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Oasis Geek.